Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampat. You're watching Sampat Sanfx YouTube channel, and this is Poco F3, or the Xiaomi 11X, or the Mi 11X, or Redmi K40 custom ROM reviews. Here I have flashed this uh, latest Hyper OS. You can see the build everything here. In the to the about section, you can see here Xiaomi Hyper OS 1.0.4.0 here, and device name Mi 11X, and internal storage my variant is 128. Out of that, 30.4 GB is use and OS version you can see 1.0.4.0 umre uxm and android version is 14 again you get this android 14 each reg if i press and hold here you get this raining effect and later you will get the game as you can see this is the game i will come back here there's a 114 based and android security patch is 2023 11 1 i mean november security patch if you go into detail information and specifications you can see ram boost up to 6 gigabytes is available virtual ram os version already read out and android version 14 and model number and baseband version and kernel user is 4.19.300 real king version 114.8 ghost kernel has been used here this is all the update results and this is the Aku battery result I am going to show you and this is a quick settings panel guy as you can see the quick settings panel is also kind of uh, revanced a little bit here into edit again you get plenty of options here if you want you can drag and add them or do it vice versa and one more thing uh, look at the status bar here if I can change to silent mode you will get this kind of notification here again if i want to show you again silent mode is off you get this kind of alerts here enter the status bar that is the new change you can see in android 14 this hyper os 1.0 in this xiaomi 11x and this quick settings panel is a little bit better in my opinion but let me know in the comment section how you like this one or the old one or even older one the mere 12 kind of quick and uh, quick settings let me know in the comment section guys and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and into the gallery i have some results here you guys can see charging rapidly is supported i mean 33 watt charging support is there and this is the handed benchmark results what i got 8,24,515 is the score and temperature raise was 4.5 degrees Celsius and 5 percentage of battery has been dropped during this testing and this is the cpu throttle interest you can see maximum is 323 and average is 294 and minimum is 268 and it's for 15 minutes guys and it's throttled to 85 percent of its max performance and this is 103rd test guys and if i go into the quick settings i mean sorry geekbench 6 results you can see single score is 1279 and multi score is 3453 and again android 14 links 4.19.300 real king version 14 point ghost kernel has been used here aliotin is the motherboard xiaomi mi 11x my devices this is the results what i got dialer again here google dialer has been added in this particular room and messages also you get this one here and security again it's quite similar here if i go into this you get these kind of options nothing change here into the security settings if you go into settings again yeah nothing change here and camera you get here like one no not a like one here simple miui camera with 48 megapixel log mode and all you guys can see into the video mode the options are given here audio zoom is also there and 4k 30 fps support is also given here now moving into some of the other changes is into the lock scene now open the locks Okay, anyhow the face unlock i'll cover it now you need to press press and hold like this yeah as you can see this all the lock screen you get here if i even move downwards you will get this kind of presets wallpapers not just that uh, lock screen customization if i select any of this i will show you within a while and here rhombus kind of selection is also there so the different types of lock screen customization now magazine type if you can go and use this one is already pre-applied anyhow i want to show that yeah now this one if i can apply you can change the wallpaper from here and even you can adjust the filter and matte effect as you can see got it matte effect pins to crop 
again go to filter and remove that matte effect and if you want to blur the background you can do that also and even depth of it also you can adjust here as you can see this is really cool in my opinion i can make it on if you want to make always on display on also it will become on now as you can see this is the always on display once i double tap you get this lock screen and see the face gets unlocked this is how the lock screen customization this is really really good because of android 14 we have seen in google pixel devices or the pixel experience kind of forms also the lock screen customization has been added in the xiaomi devices with hyper os we also seeing this kind of change i really liked it guys and however your opinion is also very important let me know in the comment section and here you can see recognize text option is still there it will get recognized here and you can directly copy and share to whatever app you need to use you can do that and adjust i mean okay you can crop the image from here it taking a little bit of time it will download the presets for the first time as you can see now you can edit everything you can make it black and white you can make it enhanced and you can adjust some of the cropping methods here and protective watermark if you want you can do that do not copy or whatever you want to use for example if you can use subscribe yeah it will show you that you can protect something like this and set as wallpaper and rename google lens you can directly do that and details you can see the here uh, it is taken in uh, up to 2k resolution but not in 4k anyhow it's fine uh, these are the settings you get into the gallery if you have recorded video you also get a video editor now moving into settings here you can't go to settings from here anyhow uh, you need to use the app from here about the phone has been stored system app updater is given here security status again play system update if you have any update do it here Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile networks and more connectivity options you get private DNS, VPN, wireless display other things you can see on the screen moving into other settings like lock screen again there will be no customization here in order to get that lock screen customization just turn off device I mean device screen uh, cover this face unlock anyhow now if I press and hold here it will go to lock screen customization actually yeah that's how you need to edit your lock screen here and glance for me just disable that and the other options double tap to wake or screen the display that's working fine here no problem notification status bar again you get plenty of options here hide notch notch in individual apps and item show on the lock screen you can customize here control center style new version and old version and smart device control if you want smart home then use google home or xiaomi home application those are the things you get and home screen customization again with app drawer without app drawer classic and other things you can see on the screen animation speed and other things remain same here system navigation buttons and gestures you can even completely hide the gesture bar here arrange items in recent horizontal or vertical you can arrange that it is smooth no problem but ios kind of style could have been added but this is a port rom but i am saying that if it is a port or any different rom they would have been added but in stock roms you don't expect that kind of things but anyhow that's it guys and blur app reviews you can do that from here that's it in the home screen settings and display and brightness again this is new thing uh, just visually they have changed but smoothness is really good earlier it was not that smooth switching between light and dark mode but currently it's very good and dark mode options individual apps also you can do that from here sunlight mode is not given here but anyhow color scheme mode is given i kept saturated and warm here you can keep adaptive colors also refresh the default is there in the custom you will get 120 separately you can do that a image and engine all three options are given just enable that if you want to use it in different activity best then you can do that again sound and vibration here also nothing change here sound settings as you can see remains same additional settings and uh, into sound settings dolby atmos show me sound is there equalizer you can customize from here wallpapers again 
you get print of wallpapers here online wallpapers it will revert back to theme section and these super wallpapers are also given and system wallpapers you guys can see shape and shadow nature patterns and crystallization and more system wallpapers you guys can see this all may have 14 based and this hypervised based wallpapers are pre-installed in this particular room themes again it's actually working and fingerprint face unlock you get these options let me show that press and hold those things are given touch and press and even you can use it for payment applications to face unlock also if you want to remain at the uh, stay on lock screen after unlocking you can do that uh, let me show this first face unlock as you can see it's very quick to unlock your smartphone using face unlock not just that even the fingerprint unlock is also very very quick here to unlock your smartphone using these options you also get this game center pre-install but if you can uninstall them you can do that as you can see um, these are the things you will get in this particular room if I go into again settings and battery again it is currently same you get these four options performance balance battery saver and ultra battery saver and you can also check out the graph and individual apps here battery checkup also you can check out here additional <coughs> features also you can check out from here if I slide here no no such options to see the temperature but anyhow these are the options and in the additional settings again language and input you can choose a different keyboard if you want currently gboard is the default keyboard here screen recording options also are given here up to 4k no up to 2k resolution it's given accessibility menu is also working fine here memory storage option extension up to 6 gb is given hence my variant is 6 gigabytes floating windows and other things are working fine no uh, that much huge change you won't see here compared to mere footage it's a little bit change this quick settings panel and this lock screen customization whatever i said and into uh, stability and improvements they have done more once you use this rom for a certain period of time you will understand how smooth this ui is i really like it and this is the aqua battery results case and bgma gameplay also going to good here but anyhow i'm not going to show it here we will wait for some more builds of this uh, this particular rom hyper os for me Linux or redmi k40 guys this is sampath signing off we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now